Hey, oh, my planet coaster friends, Johnny5 Alive here, and welcome back to another episode of Coaster Spotlight. And today's video, we're going to be looking at a lineup of variety patron submissions. Three very diverse coasters. Today should be an interesting episode, so stay tuned and let's check them out. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. As mentioned, this is a Patreon-sponsored episode, so I want to give a big shout-out to the three Patrons in today's video. Thank you guys so much for your support. If you want to support the show, link is down in the description below. With that aside, let's dive straight into the first coaster of the day, Tremor, created by Warmgar, one of our Discord builders and golden patrons. And here he says, Hey, Johnny, after creating my Gastown Wasteland ride, I was still wandering the desert lands where I unearthed this idea, sandworms. I'm a longtime fan of the Tremors film, so this was an easy theme to accomplish. However, I'm not the best coaster designer, so there are some flaws that turn up when I tried to make this 4K blueprint. Even though I did upload the 4K version of this, I figured I'd make the park version for your sake. So enjoy, and I want to thank you for the community and getting me back into creating these fun attractions. Well, you're very welcome, Warm Gar, and I absolutely love the Gastown Wasteland ride. If you guys have not seen that, type it in the search bar of my channel, Gastown Wasteland. It was a Mad Max themed ride and it had some parabolic screens in there like all sorts of really crazy stuff i absolutely love that one it was great and tremors is a show that uh, i grew up watching and you know it was something that my sister introduced me to she's a big movie buff so uh tremors is a lot of fun so i'm really interested to see what this has in store for us so let's get right into it shall we this was a park file and i put the other two blueprints into this park file but in the future guys i do prefer the blueprints for these blueprint bundles and uh it's just gonna make it easier to feature whoa that is crazy beans oh okay so we got a torque launch coaster and there's a look at all the results good googly moogly this is gonna be interesting i feel like there's gonna be some animations how do you pull off the tremor effect uh really curious to see this so let's delay no further and get right on it now as i mentioned in previous episodes we're trying to get away from opening these up to the public but today we're gonna have flailing arms for this coaster because he set it up as a park, and that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna check it out in park form. So let's do it. Holy guacamole. That is so cool. Wowzers. Oh, I love the rolling boulder effect. So I'm going to keep the audio on and let's let a, another one watch because some of the effects I couldn't quite make out from the rider's seat. I could hear them, but I couldn't see them. But yeah, the rolling boulder effect is a really good technique. I'm assuming what's happening is they're rolling up and that's the end of the roll. Let's take a look underground. Yep. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. This is such a fun concept. And I think you executed it really well. Let's 
take a look here quickly. Look at the tremor hole. Like it, it looks like it went through there. It left some like skin and teeth behind. See, I'm hearing stuff go off. Maybe we just need to look at it from here. Now, I gotta say the reverse launch effect was greatly executed. I think it's rare that you actually see people use, oh. Yeah, use the um, reverse launch on the torque coaster effectively. But you have to do it with some sort of animatronic and uh, event, and that's the tremor is coming at you. It's just freaking brilliant. So, what are those sounds we were hearing near the end of the ride? Not seeing anything. That thing was really cool, too. All right, well, maybe I'm just hearing things. I mean, the fact that you can just hear them in the background is like an ambient is pretty cool. It's like, where is he now? Where is he now? Has the guests looking around? It's it's really remarkable. Um, in terms of your coaster, I feel like just a touch of smoothing here and there, but honestly, pretty good. Like, you can just see that it's a little, like, just needs a little bit of a smooth transition between some of these areas. But because you've already put these custom supports in and stuff, you might want to wait until you just have that perfectly smooth. I mean, um, if you grab the transition here and here and hit smooth it'll really work that kink out but other than that like we're just grasping at straws here i think this is a phenomenal creation so great job again warmgar you're definitely impressing me with this stuff you're uh, you've been cranking out so uh keep up the good work my friend and you guys drop your comments down below let warmgar know what you thought of his coaster and uh yeah let's move on to the next creation Acrophobia created by Spark25, one of our Discord new builders and golden patron. And here they say, Hi Johnny, I realized after sending my creation to you that the coaster would derail straight after leaving the station. So I'm sending you a new blueprint with the updated coaster. I present to you Acrophobia, the coaster that is sure to test your fear of heights. This coaster took me weeks to build and as I am still a new to Planet Coaster, so I'm still le learning to all the tools and resources available. I've watched many of your shows and continue to watch the many Planet Coaster videos you produce. Thank you for all that you do and continue to help and support this community. Sincerely, Spark. You are welcome, my good friend. Now, let me just put a little disclaimer out. If you have to redo a coaster because you did something wrong, don't ever resubmit it. Just go to the Steam Workshop and update your creation. By the time I get my hands on it, I'll never know that anything was broken because I'll have the latest version of it. So there you go. Okay, with that out of the way, let's check out the ride stats on this coaster and and begin. It was not tested. What? It's in test mode. Ruh oh Spaghettio. What? What have you done? <laughs> well, that's gonna do it for this episode of Coaster Spotlight, everybody. <laughs> I can just watch this all day. Best spotlight ever. So you did not send me in the new coaster. You sent me in the broken one again. All right, let me see if I can fix it. Look at this. I fixed it. <laughs> We're not gonna look at the ride stats. We're just gonna get on this sucker. Let's go.
<laughs> okay, well now we can take a look at the ride stats, everybody. Max speed 100 miles per hour, track length 1800 meters, duration 134. So let's be brutally honest here. This is kind of an unfinished ride. It didn't even work out of the get-go. You gotta be mindful of these things. Like I said, all you have to do is update your workshop creation, but then download it for yourself and give it a ride. You know, it's, it's not fair to my time and the other people's time who do submit creations that are finished and working. Now, I've mentioned this in my last episode, when I we did some sort of modern building creation uh, buildings really take up a lot of part count look at that 800 1400 1200 and you're making a 4k coaster blueprint that's all your pieces right there it leaves you with nothing and honestly it didn't really add anything because i don't get the feeling i'm in a city and they're not even placed properly to begin with uh they're, they're even the tr coaster went too low at times yet it started off proper so uh, the whole thing is wrong in terms of height elevation but the the buildings didn't add much because you don't have the facade of a building i can see if you just did like a silhouette of a build uh, of a city and they're just like flat planes and the so together the entire city took up like 1200 parts that could be cool now in terms of an acrophobia coaster i don't think you're going to achieve that with a blueprint unless you're zafor with like his eternal dawn coaster for example he made one of the tallest coasters i've ever seen in a blueprint form it was a giga coaster blueprint so you know i feel like tackling something that's like insanely tall like this what was your max drop on this guy biggest drop is 93 meters yeah, so if you want to try to attempt something that big, I don't think a blueprint is the greatest idea. You should make a park and try to like look at things like the likes of Galcian and try to take inspiration from people like Combat Wombat, for example, Tommy T, the people that make these gigantic park exploration coasters and go ham with these uh, wooden coasters or RMCs in, in those settings and play around with your terrain a little bit more because it's really just lacking the detail. These signs, for example, they don't even have posts because you didn't have enough pieces to make a stick. <laughs> You literally have 20 pieces to work with, and when you just put a couple trees down and scatter it about, it just doesn't give you the uh, illusion that you're immersed. And in terms of the exit of your coaster, please don't do the wiggly wonk ever again it's so jarring and it's not necessary I, I i i don't know if that's trying to go for humor or whatever but uh it's it's more jarring than anything <laughs> little mine cart you got your four pieces left over here so anyways it's hard to give feedback on this one today because i'm not sure if i should take it seriously or you know just too many things that i would change right out of the get-go i've already mentioned those things so i would say take a different approach going into the next creation make a blueprint coaster that's much smaller themed try to use your part count to create something yourself and send that in and then we can give you some proper direction because i really don't know how to help you as a builder based off of this creation here today although i got a laugh out of it and there were some pretty intense drops on this coaster so overall it was uh it was pretty okay so that's all i got to say on this one today good effort here today spark 25 and let's move on to the next creation the nymph and the dryad created by Belisaria, one of our Discord advanced builders and silver patrons. And here she says, Hey Johnny, this coaster and Rapids Blueprints is one that I'm most proud of and I hope you enjoy it. Thanks for all your hard work on this wonderful community you've created. And the story behind this blueprint is, a water nymph is a, the, a water nymph and a forest dryad have teamed up. Tired of the world ignoring the beauty of nature, they've taken over the river rapids and coaster, holding on for dear life with the roots and the rocks uh, and overgrowth, ponds and insects. Take a ride in the coaster and the brave and brave the dryad's rocky footholds float along the river rapids and experience the nymph nymph's tranquil riverside home boom all right well let's take a closer look at the stats on this coaster so what we're dealing with here today is a hybrid steel topped iron fury any train swaps nope and uh stats are all green a uh, shorter duration on this with 66 seconds and 860 meters, but I can see the combo here creates a lot more value for your part. And there's a look at the rest of the results if you guys want to see them. And uh, let's give this a ride.
are very fun. I want to see this one at nighttime. See what we're dealing with. If you guys want to see the other coasters, well, that one doesn't have any nighttime lighting. The Tremor is what it looks like at nighttime. I like this out exterior lighting on this. Um, pretty soft and nice overall. This has a lot of lighting, so let's let's give the River Rapids a go. Uh, pay respects to Belisaria. And there's a look at the ride stats if you want to see them. I'm going to give my thoughts and conclude the episode while we ride the River Rapids. Belisaria, I absolutely love this Nymph Andriad creation. It is very whimsical, very lovely. Uh, I definitely messed up the uh, music, picking out the music for these <laughs> two rides, but uh, next time in the future, just try to find a suitable music for your creation so I don't mess it up for you. <laughs> <laughs> the queue line looks good. The scenery looks amazing. The nighttime lighting is impeccable. I really got no feedback for you, and I, I think it's a fabulous creation, and it's going to add a lot of value to anybody's fantasy parks because of the dual ride interaction. So definitely a moneymaker there. And in terms of all the other creators, I think Warmgar, you did an amazing job with Tremors. Something innovative and unique that we've never seen before. A great use of the animatronics, a fun coaster front to back, and for our new build spark i think we we kind of went over that but definitely double check your creation next time and try to save your part count for more details and don't try to grab some big giant objects off the workshop unless you're building a park file boom so that's my thoughts for everybody here today let me know what you guys thought of these creations down in the comments below love hearing your thoughts and be sure to subscribe if you're new to the channel check us out on discord and become part of the family and if you enjoy the show check out my patreon page and you can get spotlight priority and be the first to be featured at the beginning of the month every month all right everyone that's going to do it for me in today's episode enjoy the rest of this river rapids and i will see you in the next one bye now